for a long time, I didn't really know why people cared about gay marriage. And then I realized why somebody would care. And we'll get into that in just a moment. But first of all, uh, if it wasn't for this one thing, I don't think anybody would care. Now, I know some people who think that that being gay is horrible and and their theistic being said that it was horrible and they believe that. And, and they think it's just bad and evil and everybody's going to go to hell and they need to do their job to try to convert them and save them. And it's just horrible. There are people who believe that. But even among those people, I, I've never seen anybody who's wanted to be violent about it. Now, there are people. It's, it's, I think it's called, uh, what would they do? They go to the roll the gays at the, at the uh, park where they all would meet in the restrooms and, and these guys would go up and, and beat them up and take their money um that ain't cool like yeah people have done that but those are weird bad criminal types like by and large the other 98 percent of humans we don't really care uh like I, I choose not to have any gay lovers and so i i don't and i've been very successful for 50 years uh the furthest i've ever gone is i kissed a guy once i i uh french kissed a guy but I was 10 and he was an old man and he was kind of, you know, trying to trying to get me in the sack. And I didn't know any better. And it never went anything beyond that kiss. But that's been my only gay experience. Um, and, and so I've never chosen to have that be a part of my life. Uh, maybe I was born gay and just don't know it yet. But I don't think so. Um, I, I'm not really turned off by a gay neighbor, but I know some people are. Some people are like, yeah, just I don't want to be around them. Great, don't. Um, I I'll still choose to have barbecues and all hang out. Um, you might not make that choice. That's fine. Um, I don't like people who have really crap or crappy grammar for the most part. I mean, some some people are so bright that it's kind of worth it. They just haven't put any effort into that area. But but generally, a person who doesn't have great grammar probably also hasn't done a lot of reading or contemplating or philosophy stuff. So. Uh, I just, you know, don't care for that kind of person. Well, that's okay. I'm not a bigot or a bad guy because I don't want to have barbecues and hang out for hours talking about football or soap operas or what the Fox News or the CNBC News or whatever said. I just, I like thinking at a, a different level and hanging out with people who think that way. Um, I don't hang around with a lot of people who weigh over 600 pounds. Um, they're probably gonna have a lot of junk food around. I love junk food, which is why I'm 50 pounds overweight and I don't want to be tempted by it. So I kind of hang around people who are a little bit more interested in fitness and in taking care of themselves and eating reasonably. Nothing wrong with that. You can call me a bigot. You can call me a fat hater. Um, but that's okay if I do hate fat people, which I, I don't, but if I did, that would be okay. You're allowed to hate whomever you want for reasonable reasons that I might agree with, or you are more than welcome to hate them for stupid reasons. Uh, you flip a quarter and you decide, yeah, I'm going to hate this group of people. Fine. Great. Do, do your thing. Just don't initiate violence against them. So that little rant is just to say, I don't think most people really care what their neighbors do. If they don't like it, they're not going to be around their neighbors. They're not going to go over there for dinner if they don't like watching them kiss. Okay. Don't go over for dinner. It's easy. So why would anybody care about gay marriage? Well, I'll tell you why. The dang government. The dang government got in the way. So the government made rules that say that the government gets to decide who gets to get married. Like, you can't just go get married. You have to get a permission slip, a license from the government. And I'm not just talking about North Korea. I'm talking about where I live, United States of America. You have to go to that government the government named the United States of America, you have to go to them and you have to get a permission slip in order to get married. Well, here's where that matters. A lot of organizations have written their benefit packages or the insurance companies have to say the employee and their spouse are covered by this insurance plan. And so if a gay person is not allowed to marry a person of the same gender, then they don't get to have insurance through that company. And that sucks because, you know, two, two people go and get a job the same day and they're both, you know, fairly equal in, in capability and everything else. And one of them gets 
healthcare coverage for two people paid for by the company, and the other one gets healthcare coverage only for themselves and not for their other partner because the company has written that it's only for uh, a spouse. This is silly. I'm actually going to say that's the the idiotic company's fault. Uh, now, if you're a very uh, I don't know, idealistic, dogmatic company, like I'll say Chick-fil-A. I, I believe that they are very strongly Christian, probably opposed to the gay folk. And so they would probably keep their policy saying, um, no, only people of, uh, only males can marry females, only females can marry males. Uh, we're not going to give insurance to the spouse if you claim the spouse is a uh same gender because it's not a spouse that can't even exist because the Bible says so the Bible's opposed to it. So using the word spouse is wrong. Hey folks, here's an idea. How about going to your boss and saying, Hey, I noticed your policy says that uh, I only get insurance uh, for myself and my spouse. And the person who I'm married to is not recognized by the government as being a spouse. However, it's my life partner. So uh, I would like to work here. Um, I'm awesome and you want me to work here. And in order for me to do that and to continue, I do want the health coverage for me and one other person. And, you know, we have to still go by all of the, the rules of the insurance company. You know, you're not going to insure somebody who is uninsurable or uh, I guess that would be the rule. Like I, I can't imagine a company hiring somebody and, and insuring the spouse who is going into a deep, horrible sickness that's obviously going to cost millions of dollars. I, I can't imagine that happening. But the general average person, um, you say, no, I, I will only work here if you'll give insurance to me and my my choice of another person who's my life partner and his name is Bob. If the company says, oh, I'm sorry, we have it written here that it's only a spouse. You say, okay, I, I, I understand that. I, it's actually, I pointed it out to you. It's, it's right there on page 37. Um, what I'm saying is uh, you can either make an exception for me or for everybody, I don't really care, but I'm saying that I won't work here anymore unless I get that that benefit. And, and so I, I know it's written there. So you can write somewhere else and say, Shepard and it was Bill, the example, Shepard and Bill um, do get to have coverage. And that's how you get to keep me. And yeah, do you want me to work here? And then if the company says, no, I'm sorry, according to policy, you know, if there's some stupid bureaucrat, yeah, company just lost you. Go someplace where there's a progressive company that says, um, yeah, we'll insure you and anybody who you've been with for at least a year dating or who you've been living with or whatever. And if they don't have a benefits package you like, don't work there or demand more money. Um, you know, figure out what your insurance is going to cost. It's about a grand a month per person in uh, mid 2023. Uh, so yeah, I think my wife and I are paying about uh, two grand a month for the two of us. And so I think that's the going rate. So you just say, okay, uh, I need an extra, you're going to cover me already. I need a, a boost of 12 grand a year and that'll cover my partner to get the uh, bills insurance. Um, that's, that's how you solve this stuff. So if, if people just use this one little common sense thing, why else does it matter? Like, do you care if the government condones you marrying somebody else of your choice who's not what the government says is okay and in some conservative Christian state? Who cares if the government doesn't recognize it? You like the government? You think the government is wonderful and good and some of the best people and you just want them to be proud of you and like you and appreciate you and accept you? Of course you don't. You know that they're a bunch of, yeah, they're who they are. Who who cares? Oh, the, the Yarborough Southern Baptist Church won't recognize that you're married uh, and they're arguing that it has to be a different, who cares what they think? If, if, if Bill and I are really happy and that's how we're going to live our life, whether it's nature, nurture, whatever, who cares? Not even part of this topic. Who cares if other people recognize? It's not my job to say, uh, to make everybody else accept this. Not at all. So those are my thoughts. Am I wrong on any of them? And if you are a, a person who is opposed to uh, gay folk uh, because of religion or, uh, just guttural instinct or whatever, um, that wouldn't you be okay just kind of letting those weirdos down the road do their thing? Who cares if you don't like them? Who cares if you think they're a weirdo? Like, you're not going to go down and kill them, are you? I don't think most people think that way. 
other other than a few scoundrel, horrible sociopath, psychopath, criminal types who'd go out and kill somebody anyway. But you wouldn't do that, would you? 